Now, the how we pick stocks for investments is important. You got to pick good fundamental stocks. Why is that? Because fundamentally strong or good stocks will always grow because the companies are growing. A good company that is growing, its share price will eventually start going up. That is very true. Uh, secondly, because there is always a cyclical nature to the stock market, meaning the prices will go up and then they will come down a bit and then they start going up again. There is always a way for us to enter into these good, fundamentally strong stocks. Okay. How do we pick those stocks? I've talked about it before also, but mostly what I do is I go through ticker tape. I look at the top, uh, the Nifty 500, which are the top 500 stocks trading in the uh, NSC. And then based on my technical analysis and my research into those fundamentals, I will decide on which stocks to invest. In. That's the fundamental side. How? Oh, which stocks do I invest? Now, the second question is, uh, you know, how do I, when do I invest? Okay, when do I invest into a particular stock? Now, the thing with stocks, very funny, is that there will be seasons where they will just go into a period of consolidation and they won't move up or down. Or they will move within a very small, narrow range. And it is important for us to see that we enter a stock when it's either getting out of consolidation and starting to move up, or we enter during that consolidation with the understanding that it will eventually move up. Okay, uh, and is the, the only way we can actually do that is through tracking the technical uh, or technicals of that company by watching the price action on the on the stock. And that is where I use Trading View. Uh, again, I'm not I'm I'm not uh, promoting either Trading View or Ticker Tape. Those are just the two apps that I use. Uh, you're free to choose your own. All right. And here, when it comes to technical analysis, it's important to know a few things. We need to know what is a support. We need to know what is a resistance. A support is where a, a stock price would come down and find support and, and start to go up. A resistance is where a stock price would go up to and then find it a struggle to go beyond a certain value and start to come down. That is a resistance. And every healthy stock will have some sort of a pattern that starts to develop in the uh, you know in, in the chart and using technical analysis we can figure out what is that pattern and if we understand how this pattern works the uh, ability to invest into that stock and to be successful in that investment grows okay so let me look at a couple of stocks that i took over this last week and i'll tell you why i took these stocks right so let me share this quickly okay. um So some of you who've been watching my videos know that I have a whole bunch of stocks that I invest in right now. It's about um, at about 160 stocks I'm actively in invested in. Okay, uh, and just before we start, I'll just take a quick look at where the uh, the index is. Okay, the Nifty is back up to 17, uh, 800 almost. Okay, and that's a good thing. Uh, and you can see that we went up. To 20, 200 almost came back down during uh, this last couple of months ago. Uh, in October, we went down to 18,800. And from there, we come back again another 1,000. Right? Uh, and so if we, we were to draw, um, you know, and okay, so when it comes to technical charts, another thing that all of you should know by now is that we can draw you know, trend lines. So trend lines are important because they will tell us if there is a breakdown or a breakout in a particular stock or uh, index or what I have, right? So let me start with a couple of the stocks that I have, you know, picked up over the, re over the last week and what. First one I want to look at is something called EID Parry, okay, it's a sugar stock. Now the sugar industry uh, is doing well, uh, but the prices have come down a bit. And if you look at this, one of the reasons why I'm picking up this stock is because of it. And I will highlight that right now. Okay. Uh, so, best of all, see, fundamentally strong stocks, we always look for when they're bottoming up, right? And so EID Perry had gone to a high of almost 660 in last year, October, 2022, October. And from there, it's so that it hit a resistance there. It went down. It started to come back here, hit, hit a resistance again. Came down, came down, found a support here, went up, found a resistance here, support, resistance, support, resistance, support. Mm -hmm. And you can see here why this support is important because it found support here. 
in 22 May, uh, in June 2022, uh, again it found support here in July 23, in August 2023, and lastly October 2023. So this is 450 or so is a very strong support for EID theory, right? Now, that support is also, uh, you know, strengthened by the fact that over this technical, if you look at this trend line, resistance, 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 uh, it broke that resistance in September 23, went up, and then it came down exactly to this 450, which also happened to be the trend line. It took support at the trend line and it started breaking up. And so the major trend line is already broken. It took support there and we could have entered at 450. I want to show you, I entered EID parry. Uh, right now it's showing 503, but this is because I entered at 470 and then I entered again at 507, a larger quantity uh, over this last. So basically I entered at uh, this level, 470 or so in this initial breakout here, okay, 470, 480. Uh, so I entered at this place. I just kept holding it, it came down. And then when it did this small trend line here, and broke out again at about 503, 507, I entered again. So that's the way we enter. So now that it's taken strong support here uh, and look at the volumes, okay? There's huge volume that has been seen in the last three days. Uh, the chances of this going up to 660 again is high and possibly breaking that as well. So EID family is something that I'm invested in uh, and I will look to see if I, Probably, probably add some to it, but it's already broken out from this trend line. Uh, probably just hold it and exit when it comes to about a good gain, right? So that's EID parry. Our second stock that I want to look at is, the second stock I want to look at is Godrich Agro. Okay, Godrich Agro. Right? So now this was the initial resistance a long time back. This is 2021, okay? Uh, but if you were to even disregard that, what we have to look at is a couple of things here. One, if I were to take this line, this resistance here, draw a trend line here, I have one trend line that looks like it's a strong trend line there. Okay. Uh, and then there is this longer, the larger from dating from 2021 trend line, which is actually come down right here. And you can see here, that now Godrich Agro is slowly accumulating at this level. Okay, there is a lot of accumulation there. And if I were to draw uh, another from the sub, this is the support at about 403, last support. It again took support at about 445. So that's our, you know, that's my that's my stop loss if I were to ever have a stop loss right now. Okay, uh, and if, unless it breaks down this technical, this trend line, I'm good to hold this. So I'm slowly accumulating it around this level now. Uh, it hasn't, act, it has shown a bit of a firm footing. There's been a bit of, you know, spikes in the uh, in the volumes, which show, tell me that people are accumulating in this region of about, it does tell me that people are accumulating somewhere between 520 to around 470. So this area seems to be an area of accumulation and so far I have also started slowly accumulating into Godrej Agro and I'm looking for it to eventually start moving. All right, so that's stock number two. Uh, the third stock that I want to look at is Latent View. This is another company that I'm holding. So Latent View from its IPO price, you know, it went, started here at 460 or so, which is where it is right now. Uh, and it went to about 750, 720, say 700. Uh, and then it's gone all the way down, 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 down. Uh, and you can see it finally broke out at about 370. So if I were to show you, I've been holding, I actually started buying Latent View somewhere in the 390s. Uh, in the, when it broke out from here is probably when I first started accumulating. But I've been gradually accumulating whenever it came down here, uh, and I today I think my average price is about four twenty, right? Right. And so when it broke out from this level, this is the important level that I want to show you. Uh, you can see here, it made a high of four sixty or so. From there, 
you know, it went down, took support. So you can see there's a good support now at about 395. It went to about 442, fell down again, 395 support. And here you can see this huge spike in volume over the last three, four days. And this volume candle, when it started breaking out from here, is when I entered again and then entered again. So 404 to 420 is where I've entered eventually uh, in the new uh, amount that I've added. Uh, and so that's a good point to hold uh, stop. So, uh, yeah, and so where, where, where do I think it's going? It's probably going to look at eventually 700 or so, uh, but I've been accumulating in this uh, range. You can see there's a huge accum accumulation that's been happening here from uh, September 12th. Now, so almost two months of consolidation, and this is where I accumulated a lot of it, uh, and now it's back up. Okay, so that's stock number three, Aiden B, right? The other one that I want to look at is Vmart. So Vmart is the other stock that I want to look at now, uh, and Vmart's been in a downtrend for so long. From 4,500 levels, it's fallen down to almost 1,000, 700, 1,400, it's come to uh, 1,600. So I've accumulated this at about 1,700. In this area, when there was a lot, you can see that for 1,600 seems to be a strong support now. I've started to accumulate it here. Uh, and I think my average price is about 1,762. Okay, now it's at 1,850. Uh, it's still looking decent enough because there's a long runway for it, uh, and this is pretty much the low for almost the last, let's see, uh, the, the last two years. Okay. 2021, October, uh, and now it's 2023, November. It's been in a downtrend all this while, and now it looks like it's starting to form a good support. And so I have accumulated at this level. I can also show you that it has broken out this minor trend line. I wouldn't call it a huge trend line, but again, you can see uh, this is way back in uh, in August 2023, uh, and then again a resistance in September, and now it's broken out from there. But look at the volume; it's sizable volume, over three, four times the volume that has been during the accum accumulation period. So, I think this is a good point to start accumulating Vmart, and that's why I've done this, right? Uh, the next one I want to look at is uh, another stock that has been down quite a bit. So TCNS Brands. Okay. Now, TCNS. Now, if I were to look way back, you know, it, it's seen highs of 850 or so. But what we what's interesting for us is this trend line. This is dating back from May 2023. It was at a 540. From there, it fell. There was, you know, some exceptionally bad news on that day. I think results or something. I don't remember now. But anyway, it fell. It tried to come back and fell from 448. Uh, same thing happened here. But this level, 340, seems to be a good. Now, when it comes to TCN, uh, it's a bit of a. Uh, it's not a very strong stock, so I don't I don't know if there's going to be a huge rally in this. Technically, it's starting to break up from this level, but fundamentally, it's still a bit of a weak stock, so I'd be a little cautious in that. Uh, but otherwise, it's good, you know, looking good. The the last stock that I want to talk about is Sheila Foam, and I've held this before. I've just started to enter it, uh, and I think I've entered it somewhere around these prices. Okay. So Sheila Foam, let's take a look. So a high in April 2022 of 2000, uh, and then there was in July 2023, uh, 1357. Uh, and now you can see that if you count that as an aberration, because there, I think there was a bit of a news that day when Sheila Form bought a new company, uh, bought another, uh, you know, another uh, competitor, and so that caused a bit of a huge rally. And then the same day, it was up 20% in the morning uh, at the market open, it fell. And from there, it went all the way. But what's interesting here is this, okay. Uh, you can see here this candle from 1000 
something. That was one day. And then the same level at about 1,000. You can see in October 23, there's been a huge spike up. This is the level that we had to look at. 1,000 is seems to be a good round support over there. Uh, and I would probably, and because now it's slowly starting to show a bit of a breakout, I have started to slowly accumulate it. It's a decent stock uh, and we will see how it performs. But it seems to be that 1,000 is a good support uh, and gradually can accumulate in this. Okay, So those are the stocks that I've uh, started accumulating or investing in, in over the last one week. And uh, there are definitely technical reasons for each of this as you can see. And uh, yeah, if you are interested to learn how to, uh, you know, invest using technical analysis, please do get in touch with me on my WhatsApp number. I'll be more than willing to teach you. Uh